everybody. Here we are coming at you from Nashville, Tennessee, home of country music. And if there's one thing that we do here, it is we play country songs. That's what we do. And out of all those country songs, we play a lot of Johnny Cash. Happens all the time. A lot of Folsom Prison Blues. And so today, that's what we are going to focus on. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about how to play the song Folsom Prison Blues and the traditional kind of root fifth country style bass line that we can use for that song and plenty of others. So if you want to get tab or notation, anything like that for this lesson, please head over to my Patreon page. Please subscribe to this channel. You know, I really love having so many folks here uh, that come to get bass information at this channel, and I'm very appreciative of all of you. Um, so head over to my Patreon page if you want extra goodies. But in the meantime, we can kind of dig into this lesson. Now, as we um, approach country style bass playing, there are a couple things that I like to keep in mind. Um, one, it's you know, one of those things that requires a little bit of self-editing in a way where we want to play something that's nice and concise and very specific. We're not doing a lot of fancy stuff. We're not playing a lot of crazy things. We're not improvising a whole lot. We are really playing something that is first and foremost function based. So um, stylistically, you know, we're not going to get too crazy, but we want to be really, really good at doing this kind of thing. Um, and that's just kind of the nature of the genre, the nature of the feel, and the respect that we can show the music. So again, we're not here for flash, we're here for function, and that's totally a cool thing to do as you're playing country music. So we're going to go through this song, and we're going to take our root fifth style line, which is very common in a lot of country songs. Um, and to play Folsom Prison, we're going to be in the key of F. You can listen to a bunch of different recordings, Various artists will do it in different keys. Sometimes people will play it in E, maybe, and see whatever the singer uh, feels comfortable singing it in. But if you listen to a lot of the Johnny Cash versions of this song, it will be in the key of F. So we're going to kind of start it here, um, playing the F on our eighth fret of our A string. And the reason why I want to play it there is because it's going to give me a pretty... Uh, good pretty good mobility in this kind of like meaty part of the neck so rather than playing here where it's like a little bit trebly you know on an upright bass that might sound great but if we're playing it on an electric bass you know sometimes we might like to play kind of in this meatier part of the neck um so i like to play it there it also lets me find my fifth above and my fifth below meaning that if we're playing f as our root note and we kind of want to play the fifth, we can go one, two, three, four, five. We can find it higher. Or we could find it lower. It's kind of like if I went down the scale and went like eight, seven, six, five, you could find it there. Um, or you could even kind of play up and then find the octave lower. But it's going to be right behind your root note. So the cool thing about playing country is that depending upon the key you're in, where you are on the fretboard, what chord you're on, you can kind of choose between playing the root and the fifth above the root or the fifth below the root. And that's kind of where the, uh, the notion of movement and understanding the chord progression and the little bit of improvising comes in, where you can kind of choose how you want to approach that fifth. So for this song, at the moment, on our F chord, we're going to play it there. And uh, you can kind of just get the basic groove going, root fifth. Nice, even sounding notes. You know, I like to have a little bit of space in between my notes. They're not t totally legato, you know, like I'm not being super legato, but I'm kind of being very definitive, very definitive about my rhythm. Um, and this song is going to follow kind of like a 12 bar blues progression where we're going to play four bars on the one chord. Then we're going to go to our four chord, which is going to be B flat. We can kind of go to our B flat right next door on the fifth fret of our D string. Um, and then we can play the same kind of root fifth part on that B flat. And then we're going to return to our F, the one chord, as we would in a 12 bar blues. Now, the only difference is when we go to our five chord, in a regular kind of 12 bar blues shuffle, something like that, we would normally go a bar on the five chord and a bar four chord and then return to the one. In this situation, we're going to stay on that five chord for two bars. So actually just a little bit less motion than a 12 bar blues. And um, it, it, it works that way because the melody says, hey, let's hang out there. And uh, there are also plenty of other blues tunes that take this approach as well, where instead of going five, four, one, you just spend both of those bars hanging out on the five chord. 
So as we go through our chord progression, we're going to play our roots and fifths. I'm going to throw in a little, little fun note where I'm playing my root, my fifth, my root again, my fifth, and then scale degree seven, or in this case, the E. And I'm going to use it to just approach my root note again. So it's almost like I'm going seven, one, or E to F. And that just kind of sets up our downbeat. So as we play through this, one bar is going to have root, fifth, root, fifth, seventh, root. So it kind of just help set up the downbeat for the next bar that we're on. Um, and it's also just like a little color that you can add to the bass part. Here's our second bar, third bar, fourth bar. Now we're going right next door to that four chord, the B flat, and we can kind of approach that in the same way where we're kind of thinking about landing on our B flat. We're going to approach it from the half step below, we're almost thinking like 7-1 as we go to that B flat. And as we're here, we're going to be here for two bars. So here's our second bar. And now we're going to move back. Now you may have noticed that as I've played this, um, I'm choosing to play the root, the fifth, root, 5-7-1, five, 5-1-1, one, five, one, one, and then I return to the F. So this time, while I'm on my four chord, that second bar, before I hit my one chord, instead of playing the root in the fifth, I'm going to play the root twice. And what that does is it kind of just provides a cue to going back to that F, but not going there too soon. If we played the root, the fifth, that fifth is actually the note F. So we might not want to play that twice first to end the bar and then again to begin the bar. So instead of that, we're going to play root, fifth, root, root, and then make it very definitive that when we play the note F again, we are returning to our one chord. So this is probably the trickiest part about playing a country style line is kind of like understanding the function of a note and whether you're playing the root or the fifth and knowing that that function can change as you move chords. So like for instance, when you're on the F chord, the F is the one. When you go to that B flat chord, the F is the fifth. So it's good to keep that in mind and be conscious of where your roots and where your fifths are and how they're functioning within your chord progression. So right now we've gone to our B flat chord. We've played two bars. We've returned to our one, our F chord. We're here for two bars. Now I'm going to go to my five chord and I'm actually going to take myself down to that lower fifth, which is the C. Now, I could go up here and I could play this, but I like going to that low fifth. The low fifth sounds really good, so I'm going to go down to the C. Now, this time, when I play my root and fifth on the C, I'm going to go and use my higher fifth. Again, this is where that little bit of improv comes in, where you can choose to play the root note and then the higher fifth of the lower fifth. Because of the positioning on the neck, I am going to choose to play my C and then the higher fifth, so I don't have to go all the way down or shift positions. And it's just a really easy way to play two bars on that C chord and then return back to the F. Um, also, as I go down to that C chord, I can kind of walk the scale down. I can kind of go F, E, D, land on that C. That creates really good voice leading, makes it very conscious that we are going down to that C chord. So if we play our whole 12 bar form, it's going to sound like this. Second bar, third bar, fourth bar. We're going to go to that four chord. Second bar there. Return to the F. There's that second bar on the F. Here we're on our C chord, our five chord. Now we're back to the one. And that's our 12 bar form. We'll just repeat that throughout the song. Thank you for being here. Please subscribe to this channel. If you want to get tab notation, anything like that, please head over to my Patreon page. And happy practicing, everybody. Keep it groovy.